Hey everyone. <coughs> so I thought I'd come out here and maybe shoot a little video. It's a piece of mookite. Uh, I think it's heated pretty hot. Some of it got overheated. I'm not sure if this piece did or not. So knock the flakes off here and see how it goes. Not too bad. Got a little wrinkly there. I haven't worked any moo kite in a while. Nothing big anyways. Not this is that big. It's uh let's see. Let's see how big it is before we get to smashing on it. Right now it's about four inches long and three inches wide. Be great to be able to incorporate that line into the point. I need to heat treat a bunch more moo kite. I don't have a lot, but I probably got 350, 350 pounds or so left stashed over there. Which I kind of, it's not that a lot of it's yellow. Um, not that I'm opposed to yellow moo kite. Most of the purples and all that stuff, I sold almost all of it, so I never did get get uh, any of it, but just a couple little pieces. But hopefully, my next uh, my next load to have have that in it. Obviously, just lost some length. So I'm not very talkative. I uh, just got done eating dinner and <laughs> feeling pretty satisfied. At keto tacos. 
dirty keto anyways. My wife didn't. She's on a fast, so. But she's still cooked. I need to quit taking bites out of the edge. That would be, that'd be helpful here. Yeah, this moo kite is pretty crispy. Pretty crispy, so you gotta be careful with it. There's no for sure guarantee to get from point A to point B when it's this crispy either, so. I'd be using my hollow copper bopper on this. I got a thick edge right here. I'm trying not to bust it anymore. <laughs> I'm not gonna knock that off here. Pressure because I'm afraid that I'm gonna break it. So I don't want to lose, I didn't really didn't want to lose all this stripe here. So I'm going to have to start thinking about how I can save it. No matter what I do, I mean, if, unless I bring this tip way over to try to fatten out these sides and then try to save it in there. So it's either get, lose that or get shorter or something. Gotta make a sacrifice somewhere to keep it in there, I guess. Maybe a crying shame if it <laughs> ends up or I can't keep it in there anyhow. Oh man. Yeah, this stuff's fragile. Oh, darn it. 
so much for our stripe. We may save some of it on this side, maybe. Yeah, whenever I start trying to preserve one thing over another, and I start having some problems. Let's see. Let's take a couple of indirect strikes here, I think. bite out of it. That was just simply hitting it too hard. And it's too crispy. Too crispy. Probably definitely too fragile for my style of napping. Man, hit it too light and that happens. Was thinking, just quit at any minute, <laughs> break clean in two. You're saying you keep hitting it, hitting it from the bottom, I will. <laughs> Maybe so. Maybe so. Come on. No, you weren't supposed to do that. You're just supposed to go there and clean that off. Not sure if we're gonna have anything left of this one when it's over. It's just uh, really fragile. <coughs> Which I knew it was gonna be. When you overcook things, they get like that. And that's what happened here. It was overcooked.
Yeah, that stuff's crunchy. Crunchy, crunchy. It's not so overcooked that you shouldn't be able to still get a point out of it, but it is a little overcooked. But the fine line between uh, some of this that's right, just about right, and it's uh, got some dull stuff and some shiny stuff, and then just being completely over obliterated, this stuff is really kind of particular. And I haven't found any of it that heats anywhere near as high as the recommendations that I seen when I was first uh, doing it. I'm not saying that doesn't exist out there, but none of the stuff I've had has taken that much heat. flakes on the ground reds and pinks <laughs> pretty doggone hot out here right now I don't have that fan going but I'm probably gonna have to turn it on Let's see. So somehow or another, I need to get rid of some of this junk. So I think I'm gonna take a strike in right here and uh, one across here maybe. Fixing to see here. Grind that a little bit. So we can get back out just a hair. That should be far enough. Cleared the top of it off. That one didn't let go. Yeah, that helped quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. There's a little ridge right here. So if I could run the flake in there, I might clean off some more of that.
Well, it cleaned off some and then it left some more mess. That one there will pick off. That one there might too, but it needs another thinning flake across right here. Just isolated that platform a little bit and I'm just gonna try and nope. Let me grind it again. The fine line between getting the platform too too stout and breaking the piece or getting it just right and knocking all that junk off. It's it's apparently just gonna have a problem there. But the piece is thin enough now, it's, it really doesn't need to be any thinner. And I'm guessing that these will probably pretty much, pretty much pop off there. Probably should have just left that one on there. <laughs> Sometimes they look worse when you pop them off than if you just would have left them alone. <laughs> but times you can come back with the same stone and spend some time scraping on it, and, <coughs> and uh, like here's a piece here. It's got to be the same stone. Cause the same hardness but you can get sometimes you can get metal marks off it help remove those and just kind of knock some of those little pieces off I'm gonna have to work on that because I got a metal mark right there on that piece of white and I definitely don't want it there We'll work on that though. I don't have any idea <laughs> what I'm actually doing to this piece. I haven't actually given it any thought but it's about the time I'm going to have to For as crunch as this piece is, we're looking pretty decent. I think we're going to have one little thick spot right here. I'm having to move the piece way up on the pad because it's, if the flake runs in and it hits the pad then it's hinging there. And uh, these flakes are, some of these flakes are going in there well over an inch with a hand flaker. So. And that's not, I'm not a super hand flaker, it's just the fact that the that's just the way the material is.
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pause right here for station identification. No, not really. <laughs> we're gonna pause right here though. And, cause it's hot. And I was just coming out here to mess around, but I'll link the second part of this video onto the onto this. And uh, I don't know if it'll be later tonight if it cools off. Maybe I'll come out here and finish it, or or I'll do it tomorrow sometime. But right now it's just it's just too hot. And I have found a direct correlation, undisputable, between the heat and snap points. <laughs> I was snapping so many points through that big last bunch of heat we had and uh, it cooled off and it got a couple days, several days in the 80s and I finished everything I touched and everything came out. I was really happy with everything that I made um, and I contribute that 100% to the cooler weather. Just so miserable when it's 100 degrees and in you can literally drink the air it's so humid all right so i'll be back after a bit you guys won't know how long but i'll be back